Yeah, so camping here is quite the interesting mix of noises. You hear birds chirping, loons howling, mining equipment running. <laughs> I think someone was telling me there's a generator nearby that makes a lot of noise too, so we'll do our best to sleep. But I actually usually sleep best with a little bit of noise anyway, so it's boiling hot in the tent right now. I have a feeling it should be getting colder. <clears throat> We're far enough north that it gets still cold at night, even in my city. So, yeah, we got lots of extra blankets, so we'll still be warm. And I did bring some water with me, a little bit of weed, flashlight, sunglasses, cell phone, internet. So, we're going to get caught up in messaging friends and family and do some more planning for the next day. So, thanks everyone. Take care. Enjoy the full moon. Well, good morning. Made it through the night. Actually turned out to be extremely cold last night. Probably because it's the first night I was sleeping alone. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. It's 7, 10 a.m. And it's scheduled to be just thunderstorms the entire day. There has been pretty intense thunder. So I guess the idea of going around and doing stuff today is, might be cancelled. But we'll see. Maybe we can find some indoor activities to do. Now sadly I was really tired last night so I didn't manage to make up, wake up in the middle of the night and get the energy to go outside and check the full moon. I actually slept right through. The only issue I noticed with this air mattress, it is a little bit on the narrow side for my body's frame. So every once in a while I'd have to switch over because one arm would go numb. It's not actually on the mattress. <laughs> but as far as the mattress's comfort, bugs, it wasn't bad. I just noticed one tiny bug that made it right through the screen. It was actually small enough to fit through the holes in the screen. But other than that, the mosquitoes can't get in. Alright, so I guess maybe I might do some work in the house today. We'll see what happens. Maybe just another day of relaxing. I don't even know what day of the week it is today. It's Wednesday, June 15th. Alright, so this is how the day is going to begin. Stuck in, in the rain. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Wish us luck. Well... Just finished eating breakfast, packing up all my stuff. Looks like the rain has cleared up quite a bit. Talked to the neighbor. Um, he recommended that I go and check out the, the visitor center. Someone also mentioned that I should try talking to the mayor. Sorry, it echoes really bad in this place. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe in there. So, yeah, that's what we'll be doing today, is probably checking out the visitor center. If it warms up at all, I'll probably go for a swim in the lake again. I could really use a swim. Um, and maybe we'll do some trails. So, and what day is it today now? Wednesday. I think we're a little bit over halfway through the trip now. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We, I guess we got about four days left. So... Keeping my fingers crossed, the batteries and everything keep going. Actually, the, the guy has a solar panel hooked up in my uh, garage. So I should be able to charge some stuff in there, he said, if I need to. So we're not in too bad of a situation for charging. So give a shout out to the, to the clown. Well, here we have the old gas station that helped me out one of the times I was here. I was all out of water and they were able to sell me some water. It's a shame the place is closed. I heard that they had some rough goings with the family things too. And wow, they even had VHS for rent, eh? So yeah, so it sucks having uh, all the restaurants and stores and gas stations all closed. But who knows, maybe in the future things will improve.
Looks like the next thing I was going to do is go over across the street and check out to see what we got there. I don't see anything about being open, as I see is beware of God. Oh well. So it looks like that place is either sold or not open, I don't know. If anyone knows if they still have rooms for rent there, maybe let us know in the chat below. Hey, maybe I should have asked him for a ride. <laughs> Some of these places look a little bit different than the last time I was here, or I just don't remember. Yeah, I think our last chance for a general store being open is going to be this Keminus Lodge up here. I met the people here before too, and they're super nice. They helped us out with cheap rooms when we needed a place to crash when we were driving. I think the one time we only slept there for two or three hours and they gave us a discount rate. Right? Yeah, if anyone's looking behind me and looking at Keminus, lucky you. <laughs> and all the viewers in the chat, just remember that if you're watching this on regular screen and you're into 360, there's also a 360 video. Oh, we got some wild roses, huge rose bush and some bees just loving it. What a nice bee too. It's got like an orange jacket. Oh, he's in heaven with that pole. Alright, I get stung all the time at work, so I better not continue that. Yeah, what a nice rose patch. <laughs> 